Hello everyone! In this tutorial we will look at how to build the Lisa S Nano Quadcopter. We will start with doing some soldering. Align the motor adapter PCB with the Lisa S PCB using the 2mm sticks. This will keep the boards aligned while soldering the motor pads and the battery pads. Soldering these pads is quite difficult as there is a sharp edge between the pads. Therefore, I will show you several solutions performed by different people using several tools. In my case, while I was trying to solder uh, the first motor pads, I noticed that the two PCBs resulted attached to each other. So I immediately could remove the sticks which were keeping them aligned. The first successful soldering joint was achieved by using a soldering iron with a fine tip. The temperature was set quite low to about 300 degrees. This made the soldering wire melt on the pads and remain attached to the pads without sticking to the soldering tip giving the best result. In the second case I used a thin soldering iron and a high temperature. After placing some soldering on the two pads, melt the soldering wire on one side and then bend it over to the other side and carefully melt it on that spot as well. Finally, you can make it easier by using a small wire. Place some soldering on the pads and on the wire. Then place the wire between the pads to make a connection. Use the wire to get the soldering across. In this case, even with a large soldering iron and a high temperature, it seems to be doable. Cut the remaining piece of wire away. After soldering the four motor connections, solder the battery pads, both the minus and the plus, to the Lisa S PCB. Check all soldering joints carefully to prevent a short circuit when powering up the board. Now we start soldering the Molex PicoBlade connectors to the motor adapter kit PCB. Insert the connectors on the top side of the Lisa S and then rotate the board such that you can start soldering. These joints are much easier to solder. However, if you try it with some bad soldering iron it might not immediately work out, like for me in this case. As you can see, the only thing I had to do is to push the iron to the board and to the pin to heat them evenly and then apply some solder to the joint. Repeat this process for all motor connectors. Be careful however that the two legs do not get connected. If this happens remove the connection with your soldering iron. Finally solder the two battery connections the minus on the inside and the plus on the outside. Using a multimeter, check that there is no continuity between the motor pins. There should also not be any continuity between the battery pins. There should, on the other hand, be continuity between the plus pin of the battery and the plus pin of the motors. Now insert the 10 pin header in the Lisa S with the short end on the downside. Solder all connections one by one. You will need the serial wire debug part of the header when flashing the Lisa S. Now we can start building the quad. Connect the GPS antenna to the Lisa S and place this antenna with a piece of double sided tape on the Super Beta Ref module. If this location gives you a bad signal, try to find a new place for the GPS as far away as possible from the motors, antennas, wires or any other source of noise.
take the body and place it such that the battery can slide in from the front or the back. This is very important as it will determine the front of the UAV. I have placed the counterclockwise motors on the right and the clockwise motors on the left. You can see which motors are counterclockwise as they have black and white wires, whereas the clockwise motors have red and blue wires. Insert the motor arms starting from the top right, where you insert a counterclockwise motor. Take the next counterclockwise motor and insert it opposite to the other counterclockwise motor. The remaining two motors are clockwise. They are also placed opposite to each other. Now you have determined the front and the back of the Lisa S. Take the body and place the four dampers at the angles. Place the Lisa S on the body with the Superbit RF antenna in the front and insert the screws. Now tighten the screws to keep the arms attached to the body. Do not tighten more than necessary, otherwise the dampers lose their effect. I have placed the propellers already in the right order. The black propellers for the front of the quad and the orange ones for the back. Also with the propellers there is a difference between counterclockwise and clockwise. Visually look whether you placed the right propeller on the right motor. Be careful when inserting the propellers as the motors uh, could break if you press too hard. Before connecting the motor arms to the board, check that the motor arms are kept in place by the screws that you inserted earlier. If not, tighten the screws. Connect the motors to the four connections on the board, starting from the front right in clockwise order. In order to prevent long wires from getting in the way, you can twist them around the legs on the quad. Make sure you always twist them in the same way. The wires cause a magnetic field which affects the magnetometer. Insert the battery in the battery holder and connect it to the drone. The processor on the Lisa S is sensitive to light and will reset if too much light shines on it. To prevent this from happening, we will place a piece of foam on the top. Cut the foam such that it covers the processor and the sensors. Make sure that you leave the button, the LEDs and the 10 pin header uncovered, as you will use these before and during the flight. Then place a piece of double sided tape on the top right corner of the foam such that it will stick to the processor. It is important to check that the double-sided tape does not cover the barometer. We are one step closer to making it fly. Thank you for watching this tutorial.